Hey there. My name is Pablo and I'm a PhD student at the Psychopharmacology Unit of Maastricht University. And today I'm going to try and get you to consider how certain drugs might actually help understand our social world a little bit better. As social animals, it's not much of a surprise that many mental health problems are associated with difficulties in social interaction. For those with conditions such as depression, anxiety, autism, or PTSD, the way they think, perceive, and behave towards others is affected, making it hard for them to connect with others and participate in everyday social activities. Things like going to work or meeting up with friends are these unsurmountable challenges. And even more, problems with socializing can actually increase the risk of developing mental health problems, make symptoms worse for patients, and make it challenging to reintegrate back into a normal social life. So finding ways to enhance social functioning for those who have deficits in this area is incredibly important. By improving social cognition, how we feel, think, and interact with others, we can actually help individuals more closely connect to their social world and make a significant positive impact on their overall quality of life. And one candidate for altering social cognition are psychedelic drugs, made famous by the hippies of the 60s. Psychedelic substances such as psilocybin, found in certain types of mushrooms, or LSD. And there's a lot of interest in these drugs right now, as a growing number of studies are showing that a one-time administration of a psychedelic can rapidly and persistently reduce symptoms of treatment-resistant depression, anxiety, and PTSD. And what's interesting is that when you take a psychedelic, along with the changes in visual perception, so how you see the world, changes in emotions, they actually cause widespread changes to cognition, how we think and what we think about, including positive changes to social cognition. And here, psychedelics have been suggested to increase people's ability to feel empathy, meaning they can better understand and share the feelings of others. People often become more open to talking about personal and sensitive topics in their lives, and they feel a stronger emotional connection with others. In the clinic, patients with mental health conditions treated with psychedelic have reported that it helps them feel more connected to themselves, to other people, and to the world around them. They also notice long-lasting positive changes in their relationships. Importantly, they claim that these improvements in social cognition are one of the reasons they think they feel better. So based on all of this, maybe one way that psychedelics are reducing symptoms is by actually enhancing social cognition. And how might they be doing this? Well, when we feel a strong connection with someone, we often describe it as sharing a mind. Our brains have this fascinating ability to synchronize their activity when we interact with someone. So the synchronization is actually called interpersonal neural synchrony. And it refers to the coupling of brain activity between two or more people. It's actually believed to be the basis for our social connections and many forms of shared behaviors. This synchrony can be measured via a technique called hyperscanning, which involves the simultaneous recording of brain waves, uh, a form of si a brain signal by a technique called EEG. So here's some food for thought. Psychedelic drugs might actually enhance prosocial behavior by increasing neural synchrony between individuals. And this is the key hypothesis that we want to test and the main aim of our study. But, you know, while science has shown that psychedelics can actually increase feelings of sociability, we still lack a clear understanding as to how these changes meaningfully translate to improved relationship quality. The hippies seem to think that they did, embracing psychedelics and believing that they had the potential to foster a more compassionate and interconnected society. However, this is yet to be shown. So one way to study whether psychedelics do induce an enhanced pro-social behavior between people is to look at the effect of a shared psychedelic experience amongst romantic partners. And romantic relationships are actually one of the most significant relationships in someone's life. They're special because they fulfill a lot of our emotional needs and difficulties in these relationships can also have a negative impact on our mental well-being. When they go bad, you know, we feel bad. So the second and final aim of the study is to assess whether psychedelic enhancements in neural synchrony and empathy actually improve relationship quality. So how are we gonna do all of this? Well, we'll invite 30 healthy romantic couples to come to our lab. Each couple will go through the same procedures. They'll come in on two separate dosing visits. 
on which they'll be given together either a moderate dose of LSD or placebo. After setup, they'll be fitted with a hyperscanning kit and will assess whether neural synchrony is enhanced by LSD while they perform a series of tasks together, including a cooperation task where they draw together and an empathy task where they share emotional stories and, and give support. Then they'll come back two days and four days later and we'll assess how might aspects of relationship quality, such as intimacy and conflict resolution, improve potentially as a result of these drug-dependent enhancements in neural synchrony. So what could be gained from doing all of this? Well, if LSD does produce lasting improvements in sociability in a way that's dependent on synchrony, then we can have a twofold impact on the world. Firstly, if we can show that neural synchrony can be induced by these drugs, then we can help provide a bio biological basis for what builds a bond between people. And this might provide new ways to take advantage of the mechanisms of these drugs and trial them for a range of things across society, like conflict resolution. Secondly, if we can actually do this, we can take hyperscanning to the clinic. With current approaches to therapy, usually individual, they ignore the fact that we're social animals. Psychedelics are going to be, they're expected to be approved by medicine agencies within the next five years. So we might actually be able to spark a conversation, the value of group therapy in psychedelic medicine and follow in real time the therapeutic process. And maybe I think ultimately in the long run one day, we might be able to say whether the hippies were right all along. So that's me done. Uh, thanks for listening. And I really hope this gives you some food for thought about drugs in general.